What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out the first revealed cards from the brand new structure deck, our Lord of Magicians. If you guys did not know, this is going to be the newest structure deck and the first one revealed, or excuse me, released for 2019 in the OCG. This structure deck is going to revolve around spellcasters, just like the old one from the GX era, and also it's going to revolve around spell counters. Konami has always kind of had a thing for spellcasters and kind of making them tied to spell counters. You guys know all the way back from Magician's Force to Extreme Force, which was just last year when we got the uh, Mythical Beast and their kind of spell counter based and also Spellcaster. We got two cards that were revealed. These are both of the Ultra Rares and our good old buddy Breaker the Magical Warrior. Speaking of Magician Force, he's actually back and now he's a Link Monster. So <laughs> there's that. I remember when Loki breaker was like one of the top three cards in the entire game that card was like really op back in the day this is daybreaker the splendid magical knight so he dropped warrior out of his name i guess he got sick of debating people after you know a decade and a half and he wasn't really a warrior he was a spellcaster so he's like cap i'm dropping that from my name it's a link to light spellcaster 1600 attack just like the original breaker the magical warrior this guy has uh, link points that are bottom left and bottom right. It requires two spell counters to summon. So anything from Magic Specters to Ultra Guys or basically anything Pendulum Magicians can all summon this. The second and the fourth effect are hard once per turn. When I saw that he had four effects, I was like, whoa, this thing might be actually OP. Effect one, if this card is linked summon, activate this effect. Place one spell counter on this card. Effect two, if a spell cast or a special summon to a monster zone, this card points to. Activate this effect. Place one spell counter on this card. Again, this guy points bottom left and bottom right effect three this card gains 300 attack for each spell counter on this card effect four you can remove two spell counters from this card then target one card on the field destroy that card okay so this card just really screams breaker the magical warrior everything from 300 attack per spell counter that's on it to um you know being able to blow up a card on your opponent's side of the field i feel like this card is a little underpowered though i was actually kind of disappointed and i I think that konami had to have a little more give and take with this card they put like the restrictions on it are fine i think they should have just been a little more lenient like really I think that the card should have either only had to remove one spell counter, thus as soon as you link summon it, you could just blow something up on your opponent's side of the field. That would have been fine. I mean, it's only a 1600 attack link two monster. You do have to put two spell counter, uh, two spell casters to summon it. If you put two monsters in and you get one monster out plus a pop, like that would have been fine. Or what they could have done was they could have made the fourth effect not a hard once per turn. Now I have to say I was actually quite disappointed and really shocked, especially for a 2019 card that this card has to use spell counters from itself and it can't use spell counters from you know other cards on your field if you look at the, the new mythical beast and really even old cards that use spell counters a lot of them can use spell counters from anywhere on the field and that's kind of uh that's just unfortunate because you can't use counters from like your magical citadel or your other mythical beast that might be on the field that have racked up a whole bunch of counters it means that this card's pretty useless if it only has one counter and you can't get that second counter on it now with that said even though this card is uh, woefully underpowered in my opinion i actually think that i would consider running this in pendulum editions because i mean 90 percent of your deck if i'm not mistaken is like spellcasters outside of you know like dark worm and a, a few other cards and really it does open up the same exact monster zones as something like electromite and if your electromite gets hit or you're you know you can't win and your electromite goes to the graveyard this is not a bad substitute especially if you happen to pendulum summon to its link points you get that pop effect like it can actually be pretty decent in that case our second card and this is actually the cover card for the structure deck and really like the official boss monster is actually a pendulum monster itself this is the new endemion the founding sorcerer supreme it's a level 7 dark spellcaster pendulum monster 2800 attack and 1700 defense its pendulum scale is an 8 and this thing just kind of the makeup of it is beautiful if you run pendulum magicians because it's a great scale and um it's level 7 so it's quite easy to pendulum summon in the deck the pendulum effect um and it's a hard once per turn it says you can remove six uh, spell counters from the field see this guy can remove spell counters from other sources like why can't the breaker card do it it says special summon this card from the pendulum zone then destroy cards on the field up to the number of cards you control that you can place spell counters on and for each card destroyed place one or place a spell counter on this card so if you happen to have citadel if you happen to have um i guess mythical beast this card obviously 
gets a lot more powerful i don't really think getting six spell counters is that difficult because the mythical beast monsters get two spell counters every time like a spell is activated and obviously citadel can hold a whole bunch of counters as well so it seems like you could use this card as a pendulum scale pendulum summon with it and then before your battle phase still in the main phase you could summon it uh, you could summon it of its own effect and that seems kind of good i think that it's uh, it's pendulum effect of you know being able to blow cards up on your opponent's side of the field definitely seems like it might be able to push for some easy otk now to the monster effects and we have three of them the first effect says once per turn when the effect of a spell slash trap is activated you can return one card you control that has spell counters placed on it to the hand then negate that effect and if you do destroy that card then place the spell counters that were on that card on this card so that's actually quite good because you think about bouncing your magical citadel and you're like cap i don't want to lose all those counters however you will get those counters attached to this card plus you get like a nice little dark bribe of effect which gives pendulum magicians or potentially any type of spellcaster pendulum deck it gives you more negations on board triff will definitely like that <laughs> i think that that's actually really good gives you a little more lockdown effect number two this card that has spell counters uh placed on it cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects that's excellent then you know not only are you getting negation out of this card but then when you put sp uh, spell counters on this card it basically becomes a magic specter that is excellent and then the third effect says when this card with spell counters placed on it is destroyed by battle you can no you can add one normal spell from your deck to your hand all right we got floating ability built into this card as well if it dies by battle you get to get whatever spell card you want from your deck it has to be a normal spell so it has to be like pot of desires or pendulum car or something like that i'm just speaking in the general terms of pendulum magicians because that's where i kind of feel like this card would work best honestly i think this card is quite excellent because of the makeup of this card i mean i don't think any of the effect any of the effects are ridiculously overpowered or anything like that but number one i think the culmination of all the effects the fact that it can become a magic specter the, the fact that it can also have kind of a dark bribe built into it and it can get a bunch of counters at once i think that um those are obviously good and really the fact that this card can just serve the simple purpose of being a legitimate high scale i mean if you don't need to summon this guy you can just just use it as a pendulum scale eight as you would with any of your other magicians also this guy being level seven means you can just summon it very easily off the pendulum summon so you can just place it in the scale pop it with electromite then pendulum summon it if you get any counters on it it instantly becomes a magic specter and again it's a walking dark bribe and you can use your um you know your jackal mythical beast jackal or something like that jackal can activate its effect it can negate one of your opponent's monsters then you can bounce your jackal to your hand and then you get a free dark bribe effect and your dude probably becomes a magic specter on top of that like this actually seems like a pretty good card I, I think it'll be interesting to see how pendulum players will incorporate this into their deck possibly or and you know what i guess we gotta wait for the other cards to be revealed but this is a very good start in my opinion mainly with the boss monster i think the link is a little underpowered but still playable in the pendulum deck it's just not going to be something that they lean on or at least um that they summon all that often especially if electromite is available but whatever you guys think of this new support leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos